Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about tips and hacks on traveling with a baby or a toddler. So Alex and I went out of town about one or two months ago. We went to Florida and we flew there and for the first time we brought Camden on a plane. And as much as I would love to say that he was, you know, an angel on the plane and it was a great experience and he was just quiet and slept the whole time, that couldn't be further from the truth. It literally was the complete opposite. Um, it was probably the worst experience that we've had with him. Um, he screamed, cried, he was fussy, he wouldn't settle down, he was overtired, and yeah, it just, it wasn't a good experience. If you guys watch my vlogs, you probably saw me talk about it a little bit. Um, but it was a nightmare, to say the least. And we were definitely that couple on the plane with the screaming, crying baby. I want to go over all of the tips and tricks that I wish I had used. Some that I did use um, that helped on the way back. Because he wasn't as bad on the way back and he did sleep a little bit. But just share all these hacks and tips that I have with you. So that if you are going on a plane with your baby for the first time, hopefully you can get them to just relax, settle down, and be a good baby during the flight. Okay, so the very first tip I have for you guys is to definitely use a backpack as your carry-on or diaper bag for the plane. I just think using a backpack is so much more convenient. You have your arms and your hands free, and you're probably going to be carrying the baby around the airport, um, and so it's just good to have both hands free. And even if you use a shoulder bag, a lot of the time when you bend over to pick up your luggage or anything like that, your purse or your shoulder bag can just kind of slide down your arm and it's just a pain. So I highly recommend bringing a nice big backpack to use as your purse, carry on, and for all your baby products. Okay, so the second tip I have for you guys is to bring lots of snacks. You can also bring like pureed food and I recommend bringing those little squeezy pouches of pureed food rather than a little glass jar just because that can get really messy but you want to bring lots of snacks. I know that Camden loves his little puffs or Cheerios um, and I also give him these Happy Baby organic creamies and they also have the organic yogis and he loves those as well. So these are really great to bring for the flight. Also if you're waiting in the airport you want to make sure that you have lots of snacks on hand. I picked this ball up from Bye Bye Baby but this is like an amazing little ball. You just open it like that and I already have some of his puffs inside that you can see. Um, but it's so easy to open and close. And it keeps all the snacks um, whole so they don't get crunched up in your bag. So if you put them in one of those like little sandwich plastic baggies and you throw it in your purse, most likely it's going to get all crunched up and it's just going to be a bunch of crumbs by the time your baby gets to it. But I just loved this little ball. I thought it was a great idea. So I just packed this whole thing full of snacks and you can buy as many of these as you need. Um, and Camden also loves playing with this too because it's just a cute little ball. So I will link that down below for you. Okay, my third tip for traveling with a baby on a plane is to definitely bring a change of clothes. You, know, you never know if you're going to have um, a dirty diaper, which will cause like a blowout or spit up or whatever. You're definitely going to want a change of clothes on a plane. I would also bring a some kind of blanket or um, something to keep the baby warm. So Camden has this blankie that he's obsessed with that he sleeps with every single night. And so we made sure to bring his blankie on the plane to try to just comfort him and get him to fall asleep. Also bring, um, obviously, your formula if you formula feed or have a nursing cover if you breastfeed just so you're more comfortable on the plane and you can easily feed your baby without showing off everything to everyone if you get what I'm saying. Another tip that I have for you guys is to bring one of these little baggie dispensers. So I will link this below. I got it on Amazon, but it's like these little Arm & Hammer baggies. It comes in this little kind of container thing, and all you do is you pull one out. If you do need to change your baby in the airport and you're like sitting at your gate and you don't have time to go all the way to the bathroom and you just want to kind of change them at your gate, I think these are such a help. Or if you're in the plane and you need to change the baby like at your seat, if you... <laughs> If you just need to change them and the line is too long in the bathroom or whatever reason, these little bags, they're scented so the poop won't stink up the entire plane and all you do is change your baby. You throw the dirty diaper in this little bag and seal it up and throw it out or give it to the stewardess or if you just need to hold it in your seat for a little bit, that's fine because it will not stink because they're scented. I think these things are amazing. I always have these in my diaper bag. Um, because you never know when you're going to need one. Okay, so the next tip that I have for you guys is you definitely want to bring a pacifier and 
a pacifier clip. I highly recommend to bring a pacifier clip just because as you all know, airports are so dirty and so are airplanes. So if your little one drops their pacifier on the floor, it's just another thing you have to deal with. You either have to clean it, which is why I recommend bringing pacifier wipes. I have two different brands, but any pacifier wipes will do. Um, and not only that, but I would definitely recommend bringing a pacifier clip just to be on the safe side. All you do is clip this little end right here to their shirt and then on the other end there's like a little loop and you can just tie it to the pacifier and that way if the pacifier pops out of their mouth or they try to throw it or something it's not going to go anywhere it's going to be attached to them and I just think this was like one of the best inventions ever mine is just Chico brand and I got it from Bye Bye Baby um I will link this below as well for you I just have this cute little black and white um checkered one and I just think it's really cute so highly recommend bringing a pacifier pacifier clip and pacifier wipes okay so the next tip is to bring hand sanitizer again planes and airports are so dirty and you don't want your little one getting sick and you don't want to get sick either so I recommend to clean your hands as much as possible. This is the Honest Company Hand Sanitizer Spray. It's all natural. It says it kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria and germs. And this honestly is my favorite hand sanitizer I have ever used. And I've used all of them. This one smells the best. This is just the um, original with aloe one. But they also have like an orange vanilla one. Um, they have a few different scents. And they all smell so good. And... They're like more moisturizing than the other hand sanitizers that I've tried. I just really, really love the Honest Company hand sanitizer spray. It's by far my favorite. So definitely pack some hand sanitizer. Okay, so my next tip is just to bring a couple toys or maybe a book to keep your child occupied. You can maybe read to them on the plane if they like books. Um, or you can give them some toys to kind of play with and just keep them entertained. Or you could even bring your laptop and maybe like a child's movie or cartoons or something like that. Um, we did bring our laptop and we had um, planned to put on like a movie or a TV show or something for Camden. Um, but actually our like outlet plug that was like on our chair to plug in to charge it wasn't working. So of course we ended up with the only seats on the entire plane whose outlet plug didn't work. So... Um, hopefully yours will work and you'll be able to plug in your computer and play some cartoons for your little one because I think that would really help and keep them occupied. Another tip for you guys is to make sure that your baby is wearing a travel friendly outfit. So something that you can just easily snap up off of them um, in order to change them on the plane or in the airport. You don't want to put something on them that's going to be like a pain to get on and off. Like something with lots of ties or buttons or something that you have to pull down and pull up and you don't want to do that while traveling. You want to get them in the most comfortable, easiest, most convenient outfit that they can wear so you can easily just slip it up or slip it off of them, change them, and then just throw it back on and it'll just be really easy peasy for you. Okay, and number nine is to definitely check your car seat and check your stroller. We checked both. We checked our car seat at um, check-in. So right when we got there, we brought in our car seat. A lot of people told me to go out and get one of those bags that you put your car seat in and the bags that you put your stroller in, which they sell those like everywhere. I didn't want to spend the money on that because they were kind of expensive. I remember going to Bye Bye Baby to buy one and it was like $50 or something. So I just didn't want to spend the money on that. Our airline gave us just a big clear plastic bag and it worked perfectly. There was you know, no problems with it. And they supplied us with one at check-in. We checked our car seat. They tied it up. It was fine. It had no damage done to it. So for us, we took United, they supplied us with the bags, and it was free to check these things, but just I would call your airlines and just double check. I'm pretty sure most airlines do check this stuff for free. So our stroller, we ended up bringing just the really lightweight umbrella stroller, but they do check your strollers for free. So you can check them at check-in and then carry your baby all the way through the airport to the gate, or maybe if you want to um, wear your baby on yourself and get one of those wraps or like you know, some kind of baby carrier, you can just do that. 
I decided to check our stroller at the gate. So they do check strollers at the gate. So if you want to just use your stroller around the airport, you can definitely check your stroller at the gate. And we decided instead of bringing like our big heavy duty stroller, we just brought a really lightweight umbrella stroller. It was really cute. It was like the monster one, but I will link that below. I would also definitely make sure to bring a wet bag. So this is from Itsy Ritzy. I have a couple of these. I actually just got this one recently because I thought it was so cute for summer. It has like little jellyfish and turtles and whales and crabs and all that. Um, and I'm from Maryland, so we're like the crab state. So when I saw the crabs, I was sold. You can put your formula in here. You can put pacifiers. You can put diapers, wipes, bottles, um, change of clothes, anything. I literally, I love this thing. And this is the big size. So I think they have a few different sizes. I got the largest one. And I just kept all of his things in here and I just threw it in my carry-on. Um, another tip is a lot of mamas told me that while you take off on the plane or when you're landing, your ears pop, which everyone knows. And it really can be um, painful for a baby. So a tip that a lot of you guys told me to do was to make sure that he was just drinking some kind of milk, sipping out of his bottle on take during takeoff and during landing. He did do that. I know that his ears popping wasn't bothering him, and I don't think he was crying the entire flight because of that. I think he was honestly crying because he was overtired. He had missed his morning nap. He wouldn't sleep, um, and he would not sleep on the plane. There was no way we could get him to calm down and go to sleep and relax. So that's just why he was acting out like that. I know he was overtired. Make sure they take a long, nice nap before you get on the plane so that they're nice and rested and they're calm. Or if you know your baby will pretty much sleep anywhere, maybe wait to give them the nap until you get on the plane and then maybe they'll sleep the entire flight, which would be like key. That would be the best. So I think that is it for this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Just hit that like button right below the video if you enjoyed it. And if you wanna see more hacks and tips and tricks videos, make sure to give it a like to let me know or leave a comment down below and let me know what kind of videos you wanna see from me next. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye.